The whole idea of the operational bases was it was a base of operations, a base from which operations could be undertaken. And the concept was that uh, the majority of the patrol would be underground, would retire underground if there were enemy coming. Um, they'd retire underground into the operational base. There might be one member of the patrol who would still be on the mm. surface somewhere around um, and could give warning of enemy approach. Um, the patrol down underground were not expected to be operating in daylight. Uh, the concept was that they would remain in the operational base until dark, then they would emerge from there to carry out whatever missions they were going to conduct. They would use the daytime for planning their operation and preparing who was going to do what. Right. That's it, back. Boom. If we, if we remember, so we're coming through the escape tunnel end, yeah. um, so we're coming into the OB itself, and the operational end is, of course, up there. So uh, what we've got is this very nice dry, look at how dry it, it is, is in it? here, is it? bearing in mind what the weather's been like. It's always bone dry down here, and it's a constant sort of 52, 53 degrees. Um, these are the attachment points for bunks, yeah. and this would have been a double-tiered bunk arrangement. Um, and so here you've actually got the remains of, where, or you can see the marks on the wall where there was a, a table and shelf unit here and on, on top of that there would have been a spirit cooker, paraffin cooker, um, with probably two or three burner paraffin cooker so they could have boiled water and they could have uh, fried up and they could have boiled things um, and cooked in that sense.